Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the start of the day. Okay, heartache. We have here the Three of Swords. For some of you, it can be unfaithfulness. It can be unfaithfulness on your partner or unfaithfulness on your part. It can be also a lack of trust. It can symbolize also jealousy. So try to see which resonates with you at this time. If you are happily single at this time, this can also symbolize uh, a certain heartache from something else from a friend or maybe a colleague uh, I think the dynamic here is uh, the element of trust it can be a trust that's been broken or it can be also uh, there is lack of trust so this can symbolize jealousy this can symbolize also an actual uh, incident of uh, breaking a trust between friends between romantic partners or uh, between colleagues or even members of the family so there's something that is causing heartache it can be that you are uh, on the receiving end you are the one who is being heartbroken or it can be also you are the one who is causing other people to have heartbreak so uh, try to see how this now this makes your situation gloomy. If you're the one who's causing it, it affects you also. If you're the receiving end, it affects also the other person who is causing you heartache. Now, uh, it can be also, this can symbolize also healing of past hurts. So for some of you, if you're undergoing transformation right now, it can be that at this moment, you are recalling some past hurts which are somehow asking for you to give attention to so it can be that right now you are given an opportunity to heal from a past incident okay now let's try to see how this will further unfold well this card of the lovers symbolizes a relationship that is uh, complementary uh, a relationship that allows you both to become aware of the presence of the divine in both your lives a relationship that will set you on fire and a relationship that will make you very creative and a relationship that will make you uh, dedicated to each other uh, in spite of the temptations or the situations that will try to pull you away from each other you are so drawn to each other that it will be difficult even for the exterior situations to prevent you from being close okay when you look at it it's a big contrast from this one now looking at this card one of the things that i can see is if you can handle this situation with somebody for example uh, jealousy or lack of trust or maybe a true uh, unfaithfulness uh, failure to be honest to each other or a certain failing in the loving relationship now uh, whatever it is that is going in between of you between the two of you now this can this, this doesn't have to be only a person it can be a situation that goes between the two of you it's just that right now uh, something is going in between your relationship and it is causing pain and it is causing strain it can be the career, it can be a person, it can be a, a certain stubbornness on one of you or both of you. It can be a, a certain argument, a certain point of contention, you know, which if you look back to try to see maybe that it's not really that important. Whatever it is, if you make it through, it can lead to a deeper, more loving relationship for both of you whether it be between you and a friend between you or a romantic partner between you or a colleague or a family member so this situation can lead to something much better it will teach you and it will allow both of you to have a more mature relationship in the future 
That's one possibility. Another possibility is, if you close the door to this relationship, it's possible that in the future somebody much better, somebody more mature will come your way and will make you much happier than you were in this relationship. So it can be either you work on the relationship and the relationship will become better. So you try to, you will mature from the relationship or if you leave this relationship behind and you work on yourself, you become more mature as a person. You learn from the experience that you have received here. Somebody in the future will come along who will resonate the maturity that you have gained from this experience and you will have a more fulfilling relationship in the future. It can be also that you will be more selective after this experience so that when you have a new relationship in the future, it will be something that is much better than the one before. So it can be that way also. Or if you work on this, then you will have a better relationship in the future. Now, whatever it is, one of the common denominator with all these things is this thing can teach you lessons that will allow you to grow and attain a certain holistic maturity in the future. So this can lead to holistic growth. This can symbolize those parts, extremes in your life, the masculine, the feminine, the creative, the decisive parts. Uh, you will attain a certain wholeness and a certain maturity because of this experience. So you will become mature as a person and uh, in a certain sense you will not be dependent on relationships in the future anymore. So you will be, the likelihood of getting hurt in the future will be lesser because you do not need anyone anymore to fill up your cup because this has led you to realize that you cannot depend on others to to, you cannot put the responsibility on other people to make you happy. You are the source of your happiness. Your relationship with the divine is your source of happiness. You do not have to rely on other people to be happy. You are responsible for your happiness. This relationship might teach you that. And in the future, you will attain a certain wholeness that whether people come and go in your life, you will still be happy. So these are the things I can see from the card. Now let's try to see what is the... Okay, this is a very good advice coming from the universe. To heal from this heartache, concentrate on something that sets you on fire. Work, work has... The, some people might say work is avoiding or escaping from the responsibility. But work is part of the stage of healing. Oftentimes, after we get hurt, we concentrate on work. Because work is like an, uh, an anesthesia. It allows you to lessen the pain that you are experiencing at this moment. So there is something about work that will help you. So right now, concentrate on your career as you undergo the process of healing from this past wound. So... As you process yourself, you heal yourself, nurture yourself, pursue something that will make you feel uh, regain, that will make you regain your self-esteem. Work on something that you are good on. You see here, he's an artisan. So it can be uh, a hobby, a passion, something that you've always been wanting to do, which you know you will be successful in. You work on that. Or... You work, you concentrate on your career at this time. Concentrating on your career will lessen the pain and after a certain period of time will allow you to work on yourself. Because right now what you need is to regain your self-esteem. So work on something that will give you back your self-esteem. And when you start to be, a, when you start to achieve and when you start to attain excellence, your self-esteem will return you will allow it will allow you to heal and reach wholeness and sooner or later you make it over this storm what comes to my mind mind right now is the song of barry manilo i made it through the rain and kept myself protected okay so if you are listening to a song 
uh, if you're listening to that song right now, this message might be for you. So uh, there's something about I made it through the rain. Okay, you try to see. Mm, dancing in the rain comes also. I'll do my crying in the rain comes also. These are the songs that are coming to me right now. So this is what we have at this moment. So um, I hope you were able to gain something from our tarot reading. Let us now go to the self-care tip. Okay, <laughs> I think this card we encountered a day earlier and it came back again. I think this is very important for you right now to have a light spirit, that spirit of playfulness. So for our self-care tip, just have the spirit of playfulness. Uh, don't get this rain, uh, don't let it rain on your parade, don't let it rain on your parade. Uh, don't let this situation dampen your spirits. Things will get better soon. This too will pass away. Things will get better soon. So don't let it dampen your spirit. Playfulness can also be symbolized by this one. F following a hobby. Doing something that you like to do. I think this is very important right now. To get over this situation so it says here i am a playful participant in life and i always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden so you can either look at it as a something that will really make you feel terrible for the rest of the day or you can just uh, have that cheerful keep yourself busy do something that you like to do and regain that playful spirit that you once had. Be on fire, be creative. The tree is on fire, the tree is bearing fruit, so be on fire and be creative. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. Okay, so that's it for today. This too will pass beautiful things awaits you so just keep going that's it for today thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i hope to see you again soon until that time may god continue to bless your ways